Hey, welcome back, you beast, to another video on the channel. How are you all doing? Hopefully you're having a fantastic day, and welcome back to another episode on the channel of How to Tame Series. This series, we go through every creature in Ark, and I'm showing you, for beginners, how to tame them. There's a raptor over my shoulder. I don't want to deal with that. Today's episode is the Baryonyx. So I'm going to show you here the best way to trap the Baryonyx, the best way to tame a Baryonyx, and then all the abilities of the Baryonyx. So let's get into this. First of all, you're going to need a trap like this. Uh, this is like the basic trap. This You'll use this trap for the majority of things. It's four foundations with door frames all the way around. You could do with more. Oh boy, not you. Not today. You could do with uh, two, two high door frames, but one is enough. Um, if you don't have a lot of resources, you could either use an RG, which the majority of Tames early game, you can use RG. Um, or you can get them to chase after you and just run them into the trap. You can tame a Baryonyx level 49, that's when you unlock the saddle. Well, you can tame them whenever, but you can't ride them until level 49. So let me show you how to tame one of these guys, or how to trap them. And then we'll talk about all its abilities, because it's a really good tame. Okay, normally I'll shoot the Baryonyx to get their attention, if they're in the water at least. So it should get its attention. Then we're going to start running. And it should be following us. They are quite fast, so make sure you're not too far away from your trap. As you can see, it's already catching up with me. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. I've got a lag a bit laggy there. Step out the trap, and there you go. It's trapped. Now, obviously, I'm in creative mode, so I didn't get damaged there. But you can do that on like that. Or, like I said, you can pick them up with an RG. Because most of you should be using an RG at this point. So, as you can see, you pick up. And you can just pick it up like that. With the right click, drag it over, drop it in. And there you go. It's stuck. So then you're going to knock it out. Um, obviously, Trank Darts would be the best. We're using Shock Darts because we're in creative mode and on single player. So we're just going to knock it out real quick. And then we'll get into what you can feed it. Which is the second part of this video. To get the best tame. Okay, so our friend is knocked out here. Uh, the best way to tame this guy, going from the top down to the bottom, is regular kibble. So if you have regular kibble, I would use that. That is the best tame to get a perfect tame. Below that is Raw Prime Fish Meat. Raw fish meat, cooked prime fish meat, and cooked fish meat. This guy does not eat raw meat or prime meat. It has to be fish meat. So you're doing a lot of trips to the sea to get some meat for this guy. So we're going to feed it some of the kibble. And we're wait for this guy to wake up. And then we're going to go on to the last part of this video. What is all its abilities and why you need one of these guys. Okay, so we've come over to a different side of the map to show off this guy because we're going to be next to the sea because this guy obviously excels in the water. So attack-wise, on land, you can have the left-click attack, which just does like a nice little bite. Yeah, nice little bite. And that is the only attack that he has on land. You do have a sea attack, but I, I think that's more like a call to try and get a buff if you've got a group of them. Um, oh, nice Megalodon dead in the water there. <laughs> so these guys can swim, and they swim pretty fast. They are a little bit faster in the water than they're on land. Uh, but also, you have a different sort of ability uh, in the water. So you still have your left-click attack, which you can see you could do that. And then you've got a right-click attack, which will actually stun creatures. So if we do it to this Megalodon, that Megalodon is currently stunned. It will not come after you because it's stunned, and you can just keep biting it. And as soon as it starts to move again, you can then stun it again. So I'm going to wait for it. Okay, I'm going to go for the stun. And obviously that time we killed it. Uh, but it will go for the stun. Now, which I've noticed with the Baryonyx, that with the smaller creatures at least, the ones that don't take more bites, it will harvest them as soon as you hit them. So it's like, I'm one of the other creatures, I think it's called um, First Strike or something like that. I can't really remember. But if you killed the creature... It will harvest it in the same bite. So you don't have to keep biting it. Unless it's a creature that needs more than one bite. Um, as you can see. So why should you get a Baryonyx? Well this is probably one of the main reasons right now. You can explore the sea without really being too bothered about what's in here. You can stun most creatures. Now you can still get knocked off by jellyfish. So I wouldn't recommend getting close to jellyfish. As you can see over there. Uh, and they will destroy. I, had, I lost a Barry recently to jellyfish because they are just evil. Uh, but they are actually really good for just stunning all sea creatures. So if you need to tame creatures in the sea, um, you could use your right-click attack, stun them, and kill stuff all around them. For example, Basilos have stingrays around them. Oh, I, don't, I can't remember exactly what they're called, but they look like stingrays. And you just go up to them, stun them, eat them all up, and then your Basilos is free for taming, which we'll get. We'll cover that in a later episode. So this guy is the battle mount for the ocean. It is amazing in the ocean and one of the best starter mounts for the ocean and anyway until you get your actual ocean teams you could also use picks and stuff while on the back of this guy so uh, you could get your weapons out obviously i can't use the gun and that underwater but you can mine stuff underwater so if you haven't got to the scuba kit yet you could go down on one of these guys you can get close to stuff like silica pills and all that 
And you either could jump off because they won't float to the surface. The majority of creatures will float back up. But these stay here. And then you can mine stuff. Or you can mine stuff on their backs. Which obviously I don't have anything around here that is mineable. But uh, take my word for that one. You can, t you can mine stuff on the back of these. Like for example this oil over here. This is a low risk way of getting oil. This guy can stun megadons and all, megadons and all that that come after you. So you just go up start... Chipping away at that oil. And as you can see, you can get a bunch of oil without even leaving your mount. So if something comes up, you just put it away like this. And then you just stun them and kill them. Blech. So this is only a level 75. And as you can see, it's doing 100 damage. Uh, so just imagine if you get a max level, which is double this level. You're looking at a good creature for the majority of the game. Obviously, you'll have to worry about your oxygen. But I'm in creative mode, so I don't have to worry about it too much. You know what this guy is good for? It's really good at doing the majority of caves. There are probably three caves um, that you could use this guy. Um, I wouldn't recommend taking it down to the ocean caves because it's not very tanky. As you can see, stats-wise, health is on the low side, but attack is really good and stamina. So I wouldn't take these down to caves like the ocean caves, but some of the land caves that have ocean parts, um, like there's especially like a few of the starter caves that aren't that difficult. This guy is amazing. It's small enough to re get through all the cracks. You can go through the water parts and you can stun creatures in the water parts. Really highly recommended tame for beginners and for like people that have played the game a lot. I mean, this, this guy is really, really good. Go and get yourself one today. If you do, make sure to leave a comment down below if this video helped you out. And um, I will see you in the next How to Tame episode. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.